Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Modest Tech Right. Okay, first of all, I'm going to say is I'm disappointed. Uh, after all the RGB fans I have looked on, looked at on Amazon, that is including GIM, a pair, uh, you know, Antec as well, and I'm very disappointed. From my initial thoughts of the Etsy RGB fans from Amazon, I thought, all oh, right, then 25 quid, they were down in price. I thought, all right, I'll give them a go. I've been, keep, I've been eyeing them out for a while. But my initial thoughts were from obviously from like Jay's Two Cents and stuff who actually had them really become popular. Well, something that I didn't like was the fact that for an extra five quid, basically you're paying extra five pound for the white versions of these fans. I don't see that being worth it, where you can get GIM fans in white for like three quid each, uh, for £25. I don't, there's no, I think there's like a pound difference between the white and the black versions in the GIM. So that's one, I don't, one thing I don't like. Uh, second thing, um, I don't know if this is anyone else's, but two of the fans, the bearings are gone. I hear this little annoying click, 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 click after a while. I only installed them for, I installed them, and after the day, I, all I kept, kept hearing was a oh, little annoying click, 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 click. So I had to pull off the the fan hub itself and the the bearing fluid the liquid inside was all gunked up really disgusting uh i'll add a picture here for you to look oh it was disgusting the color of it was horrible and it literally it was all gunky but yeah well my first impressions look it, it does it, they do push a lot of air i will say that uh i don't like the the uh, RGB controller for one they should have done a PWM version um, instead of this priority six pin crap that uh, GIM uses I don't that's one thing I don't like about GIM is the fact that their fans are this stupid six pin instead of being a pr uh, instead of being a four pin PWM and a normal ARGB header but I don't know why but it's probably just because of the fact that it's cheaper to produce I don't know I don't know that for re that specifically so yeah uh, the RGB hub um, it's very similar to GIM very similar uh, the the controller the RGB controller but here this but uh, it's okay it's a cheap one like they sell with the GIM packs but the conclusion of this is basically, I don't recommend them as RGB fans. You're better off going with a pair or GIM. That's just my personal opinion. Because I have a better experience with GIM than I have Etsy. And for the, yeah, they do offer five packs for of uh, the RGB fans. But a pair offers that as well. But the best thing about the a pair fans is they are four pin PWM. So they're controlled by a header on your motherboard, so you can control the speed or speed of the fans. Also, their RGB hubs a lot, a lot better. They are addressable, so that's a lot better. Um, one thing they need to change is get rid of that six-pin connector and put four-pin. They need a four-pin uh, PWM and the three-pin uh, ARGB header. Uh, connector because I think that would make it stand out better compared to GIM. GIM uses the 6-pin which I don't like but at least with some models of the GIM fans they do allow you to control the fan speed through the motherboard. So that's one good thing about GIM. Uh, second, uh, third of all is I don't... the quality is okay right they're not the best fans the best RGB fans I've had so far 
are the light wings from Be Quiet. But obviously, I was sent those as sent them as a review. So my spending the money for it is out of the question. So my opinion, but that doesn't matter. They're fantastic fans. Don't get me wrong. Um, but the price that I've seen them go in at the minute at the minute is ridiculous. I mean, I think it's like eighty quid for the three one twenties. I mean, I guess everything's being scalped these days. But yeah. So. What do I say? Um, if you are just looking for cheap RGB fans that you don't care so much about noise, then fair enough. They, okay, yeah, go for them. But there's also better options out there. You can get the upper RGB fans, which have an addressable header and have four pin PWM support, as well as a RGB hub that can connect the six fans. They are seventeen pound on on Amazon for three one twenties. I've got them below. They're still seventeen pound. They haven't changed. Uh, Gim, there's a twenty pound. They do have the ten pound ones I've done, but the quality of them are crap, are horrible for the price. So yeah, I don't recommend you should buy this. I honestly think you should just go for something better like Gim or the Apex fans. But if you want to spend more money, obviously the best. Quality fans I've tried. I've tried Antec and I've tried uh, uh, Be Quiet. The Antec ones I didn't have the best experience with because one of the fans, uh, Lubricate Baron, seized within a month, which really put me off the brand. But I've had Antec fans in the past. They are a good brand, but obviously it's just my experience with that one fan. Uh, the Be Quiet fans, they are fantastic quality, they're brilliant, the, the, the noise, the RGB illumination is fantastic. I just don't think at the moment the £80 asking price, obviously they're probably being scalped. They're probably just being bought and then shoved up, but I don't think they're worth that. But £60 quid for them, £60, £65, definitely worth that price, just not worth £80. Quid. So yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I've got the Cooler Master Half X PC Case Mod Part 2 coming out very soon. I've also got a couple of extra things coming from Be Quiet to look at. So, yeah, don't forget to subscribe for that. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. Good. Bye.